The Montana woman chosen by President Biden to lead the U.S. Bureau of Land Management is being asked by Republican senators, including Montana Steve Daines, to withdraw her nomination. But the White House says it's standing by its choice of Tracy Stone Manning, and she's also responded in writing to questions raised by those GOP senators. Chief political reporter Mike Dennison has the latest. Senator Daines and other Republican members of the Senate Energy Committee asked the White House on Wednesday to withdraw Stone Manning's nomination to lead the BLM which manages 245 million acres of federal land. They said she'd made false and misleading statements about her involvement in a 1989 tree spiking incident in a national forest in Idaho. They also released a letter from a former Forest Service investigator who said Stone Manning was part of the group that planned the spiking and that she didn't cooperate with prosecutors until facing possible charges. Stone Manning admits to sending a letter to the Forest Service in 1989 notifying it of the tree spiking. But in her written responses, she says she did so only because she feared the people who spiked the trees would not send the letter, and that loggers could get hurt if they unknowingly sawed into the spiked trees. After getting immunity from prosecution, she testified against the tree spikers at a 1993 federal trial where two of them were convicted. She also said she had no involvement in the spiking in any way. The White House says it stands by Stone Manning's statements, as well as her nomination. A White House spokeswoman said Stone Manning is a dedicated public servant who is well qualified to lead the BLM. Stone Manning was director of the State Department of Environmental Quality under former Governor Steve Bullock and state director for U.S. Senator John Tester. Montana-based conservation groups this week defended Stone Manning as someone who will work with all parties in managing public lands and said she's been the target of an organized smear campaign. A vote on her confirmation in the evenly split Senate committee could come as early as next week. The Democratic chair of the committee, Senator Joe Manchin of West Virginia, hasn't said publicly how he plans to vote. Reporting from Helena, Mike Dennison, MTN News.